everyone. So the last video, I I got this selector unit out, took it out, and so the next step is I'm going to have to take off this plate at the top and then the turntable motor. See, it just comes out with a couple screws. And then I'm going to have to take out this bar, this this thing right here. You could There's only like a, a big, there's a nut and then a big bolt that holds it onto the main shaft. So I could get this all cleaned up and get all the surface rust off of it. And then the this is the turntable, so it goes on here. And then the motor spins. And then these motors, I disconnected this one. This is the one that, um, this is what grabs the record, so it compresses and flips it to whatever side of the record you choose. So really, this just moves it. But I'm going to unplug this and clean it up and take it apart. And then in the future, I'm going to do this motor too. See, it's just sitting in there. And then this one will spin the whole record um, holders, magazine holder. Yeah. This motor out it has these rubber grommets where it it's all greasy. It looks like maybe okay. There we go. See, so you can see the motor, and this would this little shaft would spin the idler wheel and then that would spin the um, the turntable so what the records sit on right there all right so that's off put these screws back or I just leave it okay so you can see the last two go onto the the main frame of the mechanism so the cast metal right here get this off and we could see down there. See? There we go. So then I'm going to take off this piece. It's just some a bolt and a nut at the bottom. And then this is what moves around. And then I'm going to have to get this freed up because it's all the old grease in there. It's all it's pretty much solid right now. So I gotta get some penetrating fluid for the oil, you know, mess around with it, and then get it apart and cleaned, so then it will work smooth. All right, so we got this out. All right, so I cleaned up this. The last video, I took this shaft out with the selector unit, so I got this cleaned and this gear, and then I cleaned up this. It's a turntable plate, so this is what the turntable sits on, and then the turntable motor. The shaft goes through here, and then I got this motor out. This is a turntable motor, see? And this one, it probably just needs a little oil. It's, it's It spins freely, so that one's fine. But then this one, this one is the one that, for the mechanism, and it is totally, totally solid. So it's, and it's all gummed up. You can see it needs a new cord, so I need to wire it. But then if you see, if you open, I think this is called, like, the wine, or no, like, the winding but see it's this little cap and then it has a spring and it's I think a carbon piece but it's all gummed up so I just imagine it's full of oil or not even oil just like sludge inside of there so I'll have to take that apart and then this I got this out this is what holds that the little guy that goes around this selector unit and then you can see all the surface rust on it so I'm gonna have to use that rust solution stuff to clean it and then if see over here this this piece is what fits in that rusted metal piece and it spins around so see if I could get that off but I might not but then the newest part that I'm gonna take off is this whole assembly right here this is the tone arm with the needle on it then I think you could see is on this gear it looks like they just kind of fit together so I think if I take out these bolts and this metal piece this whole assembly should come out and then I could clean that and then 
I need to take this off because this is all solid. See, it doesn't even move at all. Which, this thing, this arm, the gripper arm, would grab the record, and then the motor would spin, and it would grab it, and then flip it to whatever side it's on, so A or B. So then it would just change, like, the way it flips over with the gears. And then as it flips, the tone arm will move with all these with all these gears, and then it would drop and lay on the record and start playing. So... To get this free, I need to take off all this and get it cleaned up. And so you can see, this has used to have old red paint on. It was black, and it was nice and chromed. It would have been nice. So, yeah, I'm going to take off this and get it clean. So you can see, I took off this big metal plate, that one here, the motor. And then I also took off the big tone arm assembly, so it's over here. So you can see, here's that plate. This big metal piece. Then this, this is the tone arm, so the needle. See, so it's, it would be connected up to the gears on the shaft. And then as the mechanism moves, the tone arm would go across the record and then hit a certain spot and then go back. It's just, and there is a switch, so once it, you could set it and adjust it, so when it gets to a certain spot, so really the end of the record, it would know and reverse everything. So then it would reject it. And the tone arm would move back. So I got that. And then I got the other motor. See, this one's not, the cord's not as bad as this one. And this one's actually free, so you can see it. It moves here. Or this end. You can see it moves. So I'm going to take it apart just like this one. But the only difference is this one is totally stuck, right, at, at the moment. So that, that should be good. Then you can see the next thing that I need to do. Is I'm gonna have to clean this, this carriage, and then I'm also gonna have to get this freed up because it's totally solid right now. So I'm gonna have to get it. Um, and maybe once I get it freed up and the majority of it apart, I could take this whole this whole piece off because it is just bolted to this main frame that it's on. Everything sits on. So then I could get it clean and get it apart all the way with all these. Because really, to get it apart, I gotta get this out and get this main shaft, and then I could get all these gears and everything out, and then get them clean and all gone through. And then I could clean all this, this whole plate, and get it all nice. But the first part is getting this unstuck. Alright, so what I've been doing is I've been cleaning up this, it's called the carriage. And what it does is it finds the song you selected. And then see, so it has these switches on the bottom. And they're supposed to, they're like spring loaded so they move. But one of them is stuck. It's like, it's frozen. So what I'm going to have to do is I already took these off, these little solenoids. And then I'm going to have to unsolder this so I could get that freed up. And I'll clean the inside of it so it's nice and shiny. And all the contacts are good. And then... I, so I took this tone arm assembly off, and I washed that. I used degreaser, and I washed it, got all the dirt off. But then I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna clean down here and get all this grease, and I'm gonna clean all this off, and take this plate off and get these rusted bolts off. And then I've been trying spraying WD-40 because this is still frozen; it's locked up. But what I'm gonna have to do to take this apart, you need to a pin punch to get it out but so this is going to be I've been trying to get it unlocked and mess and mess with it so that will be soon alright so I got the soldering iron and I disconnected this and then you could see the one section of it so it would fit up inside like this and then you could see all the contacts are all corroded and then this one was actually black. It looked like this. And I used steel wool, and you can see that it's all shiny now. But then this, you can see this one, it goes up. This one does not. It's locked. It's like corroded, and it's stuck in place inside. But the other ones are all good, like here. It's just this one stubborn one. It's frozen after so long. Then we'll fix that. All right, so... I took this thing apart and I got it all clean and see the 
they have good connection or yeah connection now so i'm putting it back together got it all clean see so putting the switches back in so then after this i can move on to something else Okay, so I was trying to get this mechanism free with lots of WD-40 because it was frozen. It could not move, but I finally had enough, and I put a vice grip, and after lots of doing it, I'm able to move it manually now because it, it was frozen. It was locked up. It wouldn't move before, but now since I got it locked up, it would be easier to take it apart. See, so it lifts up. And you gotta, you know, I've just been moving it around. So it should be good to take it apart soon. Okay, so I have to take it apart just to clean it, but then I also notice this, when it's on the down position, it's supposed to be in this part that sticks out. And then, so right now it would be in, or in far enough. But then as you would go up, or as it would go up, it would come out so it's stuck I could see so it's stuck in that position and then I haven't tried it if it could go any farther so let's see let's put this a little tight sock oh there we go Oh, see, and then it turns to whatever side of the record it goes on. So that part's really stuck. Oh, yeah, it came loose. So now it's... So now I gotta go back like this way. Oh! Oh! There we go. So it's pretty stuck. But now it's moving pretty good. Oh, see? And then when it's down and the record would be on the turntable, it would point and you could see the numbers to what exactly what record it is. See, so it lift up. Then all this here, it will, when it drops down, all the needle and the tone arm and stuff, it will drop onto the record. And then when it's done, it will pick everything back up see so it's getting pretty it's getting freed up now so that's good